the Lord. I want to thank you for Jesus. I want to thank you that we're redeemed and we're made holy and righteous through the blood and sacrifice of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, that you gave proof of the testimony of who you are by raising Jesus from the dead. And that's the final say-so in everything, that he's alive and seated at the right hand of God. And, Father, we just thank you that Jesus is coming again and there's a day appointed for his return. And we may not know the day or the hour, but we've been cautioned and warned by Jesus himself to stay alert, stay alert, stay alert, and be aware of the times and the seasons in which we're living. Lord, I want to thank you that this is the truth, that this is the narrative that's true. And all the other narratives out here about other things are not true at all. Lord. But you have given your people the narrative of truth. Jesus, you declared to the disciples at the Last Supper that you were the way, the truth, and the life. And that no one was coming to the Father but through you. You, you eliminated all other possibilities and potentials, all other you know, concepts and frameworks that men developed. You said, no, here's the truth. I'm the way, I'm the truth, and I'm the life. And that's the end of the debate. And so, Father, we just come to you and we thank you for who Jesus is. And, Jesus, we thank you that one day you will split the clouds of heaven. Hallelujah. And you'll come back with 10,000 times 10,000 of angels to execute judgment Hallelujah. upon the earth. And you will assume the throne of your father, David, and rule over the house of Jacob forever. And we will live with you in eternity forever and ever. We thank you, Lord, that that is truth and nothing can change it. And we are those that are called to be professors and, declare, and those that declare and disseminate the truth of the living God. And, Father, we just bless your servants in Salala for this appointed time. Father, I remember when I was there, I used to say to, a, say to us while we were there, you aren't here just for a job. You're here because God appointed you for this nation yeah. and for this season and for this time. And, Lord, I just release that over the servants in Salala and over the body of Christ at the, at the fellowship of, uh, of uh, POA, that, God, you would just bless PCO Salala. And you would give them uh, a spirit of urgency and um, expectancy of your powerful testimony and see it bring tremendous results and a harvest in that nation because of their faithfulness and sacrifice. Lord, bless them in Jesus' name. Amen. The recording has down and when they arise, wherever they, their feet may trod, Lord, may they establish the kingdom of heaven on earth, just as you told them to pray. Say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Bless your people with your favor, Father, and shed your grace abundantly upon them in Jesus' name. Amen.